Life in the jungle is a routine existence for this troop of baboons in Africa. While boring to some, others find exuberance in every moment. Baboons are a social species and live in family groups called troops. A rank hierarchy exists in the troop, with dominant males running the show. Being highly social animals, baboons communicate frequently with each other by grunting and calling out. And they are also highly tactile. Constantly touching, reassuring each other, and of course, playing. Baboons have many enemies, but one stands out above all others. The leopard. This is probably due to the fact that they share treetops together, so an age-old feud between the two species has developed over the centuries. Young baboons learn quickly that life high up is part of their world. As soon as they are born, a baboon baby begins to explore and learn the skills necessary for life ahead. A mother will suckle her young for up to six months, but her offspring will remain dependent on her protection in this hierarchical society for nearly two years. Lower-ranking males sometimes try to steal babies. Oddly enough, to get attention from other females. Baboons spend most of their daylight hours foraging for food. One of nature's least fussy eaters, they are happy to eat roots, shoots, leaves, fruit, berries, flowers, and even small mammals if they can catch them. Baboons use their cheek pouches to store food so they can continue their search all day if needs be. A social arrangement exists between neighbours like impala and kudu antelope herds. A variety of combined eyes and ears keep a watch out for danger. When baboons are not foraging for food, they are grooming. This is a vital social activity in baboon life. Nimble fingers work through long hair to find ticks and fleas. Grooming is used to form and strengthen bonds between troop members. Male and female grooming is actually a form of courtship. Subordinate females groom higher ranking females as a way to gain acceptance. The favour is not returned as higher-ranking females only groom other females of the same rank. It's rare to see baboons so comfortable around water. But severe heat in the middle of summer can call for a cooling dip. Good swimmers, just like other mammals, their hair and full lungs make them buoyant enough to play. Highly social animals, it's natural that order needs to be maintained by the troop leader, who has canines larger than a lion. Some ugly outcomes from his harsh discipline, but necessary to keep control in such a large troop. Large babies are happy to leave with mum, though. One of Africa's most adaptable creatures has learned to stay well out of sight at night. So during the dark hours, troops of baboons will bed down in the crevices of rocky cliff faces or high up in the tall trees. And so begins the long wait through Africa's night 